Hey guys, uh, this look was inspired by Drew Barrymore in the Lancome Fall 2005. It was from Forever Go, but I always loved it, so I thought I'd give a try to it. That didn't make sense. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, so I already got my soft ochre paint pot on, and I'm going to take a flat shader brush, and I'm going to take, um, this is called Maria's Mood. It was from a limited edition. If you have any pink eyeshadow, um, you can use it. I'm going to mix that one with the bling, and I'm just going to pat this on the lid. Now, if you're not getting a big saturation of color, sometimes if you use Benefit's highbrow, just kind of on that area, the eyeshadow um, will stick to it a little bit better. It's up to you if you want to just kind of add that pop of color. I had to add pink like 10 times because pink is a hard color to get it to show up. Um, but I'm just putting it right in the middle of the eye, just kind of pressing it on there. Um, just like that. Then I'm going to take a little pointy brush and I'm going to take, this is a mint green, it's called Aquavert. It was from the Sugar Sweet collection. It's just a mint green eyeshadow. So if you um, have a mint green eyeshadow, I know that Coastal Scents 88 palette, one of them anyway, should probably have a mint green color in there. Um, I haven't used that palette in forever. but Anyway, and I'm just doing this on the inner corner of the eye, just kind of putting it in there, connecting it right in the center and dragging it down pretty far. We're going to cover this up with a lot of black. So it doesn't really matter how far in there you put it. Just like that. And then I'm going to line my eye with a water with a pencil and I want to get right in the waterline along here. And don't worry if it's messy because we're going to smudge it out a little bit. And right in the underneath waterline, I don't even look when I do that. Because it's the waterline. And then the top of the eye, just in really short strokes. And then... right along the bottom as well. Then I'm going to take a really nice soft angled brush and some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to drag this in a neat line along the top of my eye. Then I'm going to take that highbrow again and I'm just going to kind of color that center part underneath my eye and pop a little bit of pink underneath there. You can even use your pointy brush if you want. And just, again, don't be super neat with it. You can kind of clean it up after. Now you look like you have little rainbow sherbet eyes, which is always a good look. And I'm just going to take this pencil and I'm going to kind of drag it along the side so just kind of that under part of the eye just to kind of messy that up a little bit and then of course I'm gonna get it really in there and you're gonna go back in with that green and kind of mess it up a little bit so then I'm gonna take um, my 217 trusty 217 and I'm just going to pop black color into the crease and just start working it back and forth just like that until you've got kind of the desired shape. Then I'm going to take my little pencil brush and again just dip it into the black eyeshadow and that's going to go underneath the eye all the way across just to kind of smoke it out 
and into this crease area and I want a very round shape and this brush has a tendency to make things look a little more winged on the outside so you can just kind of buff that out as you're going and then from here basically it's just going in and perfecting all the edges um, making sure that everything is equally as dark as everything else and then I'm actually going to go back in with some black eyeshadow over top of this line and kind of smoke it up a little bit just to make sure that I've got the same depth of color on both sides. And on the top of my eye, I'm just going to take a little bit of brulee just to kind of smooth out these edges and then a little bit of Sweet Lust from MAC, which is a light pink, just up on the top here. And then with my little pointy brush, going back in with that green, making sure that I have this nice kind of green highlight in here. And then I've still held true with the pink in there. That highbrow works really well for the pink as well and then just kind of smudging everything out so I'm going to put my mascara on and then I'll come back and show you the face so I want a nice full coverage so I'm going to use my Dior Skin Nude all over and I do like this foundation on days when my skin is really well moisturized, as I was saying before, which today it feels really nice and moist. Um, so I'm going to use it because I do like the finish of it. It's not quite as shiny as the Makeup Forever. So once you get that all blended in, you can move on to the under eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit of NW15 in the Studio Sculpt and I'm just going to pop that right in this area of the face just to kind of give it a little bit of highlight. Now this is a very high coverage concealer so it might be a little bit too much but because it's so warm here today and my skin is warm, um, the concealer is also nice and warm so my skin is actually warming up the product and it's not quite as heavy and then I'm just going to use it on my blemishes right in this area now I'm going to powder the look and then I'll add black so this is the completed look with lips on my cheeks I have um, the mineralized blush in dainty and then on my lips I have MAC lip gloss in purr so I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.